So anyway, uh, I wanted to say a few things about uh, Larry Holmes. Uh, <clears throat> you know, I I know he is a great fighter. Of course, nobody can deny that he he had you know one of the best jabs and uh, was very strong and tough and resilient and you know he had heart but uh, there is a fact actually that's why I don't really get it he actually ducked a few not a few quite many uh, top ranked heavyweights of his time during his time as a world champion yes so i will i will say a bit about each of them uh yeah but uh, first of all let me just mention that i am a, a member of uh uh ao boxing forum and ring news 24 so uh yeah <laughs> just a little advertising there okay well let's start from the first uh well first contender and champion i think that larry holmes ducked it was big john tate uh, yeah, Big John Tate. He was a uh, he was a very big guy, yeah. but he was uh, also a very good boxer, actually. Um, how I know that? Well, I have seen a few of his fights, but uh, I also know that the reason he lost his title. WBA title is uh, he stopped boxing against Mike Weaver. He was winning the fight easily in the first ten rounds, but then he started to you know to uh, <laughs> then he started to you know fight instead of box. And uh, that cost him the fight ultimately. Anyway, uh, he was the champion, as I said, WBA from uh, October 1979 uh, till uh, March 1980. And uh, he was undefeated, actually. He uh, knocked out Dwayne Bobek in one round. And uh, also stopped uh, a dangerous South African punch called Kali Knotse. So uh, and he beat uh, Jerry Hustia for vacant title uh, WBA. And uh, yeah, he beat him on points. So you know, and Jerry himself he could box. So you know. You know where I'm, where I'm <laughs> getting at. And uh, Holmes, in this uh, period, he was, uh, he won the title, the WEC title in 78. And then he fought some, you know, rather weak guys. Um, like uh, it was, uh, I believe, uh, Lucian uh, Rodriguez was one of the first he fought. Yeah, actually, Alfredo Evangelista, yeah, that's the one. He fought him, then Ozzy Ocasio, who had only 13 fights, and he was not really a heavyweight, he was more like a cruiserweight. Then he fought Mike Beaver. So, uh, yeah, earning shavers, whatever, yeah, so, 
you know, all school have chosen to fight Tate, but he didn't, he didn't, I think his people actually knew that Tate was a too risky opponent because of his uh, size, perhaps, and, you know, boxing skills, everything. And then Mike Weaver. Mike Weaver was a great underdog when he fought Larry Holmes in 1979. And uh, he actually, <laughs> he was really giving Holmes a, a beating in some rounds, actually, and uh, surprised everybody. But he got a bit uh, reckless and got caught with a big punch that put him down, you know, and then he was stopped in the next round, the 12th round. So, uh, but after he won the title by knocking out John Tate, he never got a, you know, a rematch from Holmes. I think that it's kind of strange because wouldn't Holmes always insisted that he was the real champ and that the other guys were just paper champs like it, and that included a uh, Weaver. So why then didn't he want to fight Weaver for the other title and you know just become the one champion? And I think because he knew that uh, you know we Weaver was a very tough opponent, and not least because of his physical strength and punching power. And yeah, so um, Mike Weaver. So he he never faced Mike Weaver again, and then Weaver lost the title to Michael Dokes. So Dokes is actually the third the WBA champion that Holmes didn't fight. And uh, if you if you look at it, really, he never fought any. I mean, uh, he ne never fought a single WBA champion uh, while he was a champion. He only fought Tim Tim Witherspoon, but that was before he became uh, the champion. And uh, so uh, <laughs> that's quite strange if you look at it. So, uh, you know, people say, yeah, he fought everyone, but it, it, that's not really true, you know. Larry Holmes did not fight anyone. So, Michael Dokes is the next one on this list. Michael Dokes was a very fast guy, especially for a heavyweight, you know, he was as, as tall as Holmes, six foot three, and... Uh, yeah, perhaps not a really big puncher, but he could also punch, you know, when <laughs> when needed. So um, he was more of a buff, you know, speedy guy, speed speedster. So, mm -hmm. so but anyway, he was uh, he was the champion, the only other champion, and he he also never, you know. I don't know if he ever received a, an offer from Don King. I don't think so. Anyway, he lost the title to uh, Jerry Hutsia, of course. And Jerry was, you know, a very good fighter himself. Very strong guy. He could both punch and box. Um, so, uh, yeah. He didn't stay a champion very long, but anyway, uh, it was in 1983 that he was, uh, became champion by knocking out uh, dogs, of course, in 10 rounds. So, um, after that, he, he was beaten uh, controversially by Greg Page and... Uh, Greg Page is another on this list, of course, because he is the one everybody, I think, or everybody that knows this history, this part of history, uh, that everyone knows that 
about Holmes ducking him because uh, Holmes re relinquished his title, the WBC belt, so he would not have to fight Page because he was a mandatory. That, that was in 1983, I think it was a little before Page won the title from Christine. So, uh, anyway, which turned out to be a little bit of a disappointment, you know, as a pro, he lost the title in his first defense to Tim Witherspoon. And then, Tim Witherspoon is another example. He was, he fought Holmes, but that was when he was a complete unknown. He was only 15, he had only 15 fights. Um, so, you know, he had... As you you can find an interview where where, where Witherspoon says that three years before that he was playing football in uh, college, so he wasn't. You know he he was a boxer. He became a boxer not long before that fight with Holmes, a real boxer. So uh, and then. Uh, uh, yeah, after Witherspoon beat uh, Page, he also didn't get an, an offer for a fight with Holmes. And Holmes fought instead. <laughs> he fought uh, Bone Crusher Smith, who was really. He was a nobody, more or less, back then. He hadn't really defeated, I think, anyone of note and didn't hold any titles or anything. He was a big puncher on all that, but he was a little unpolished as well, so, you know. And, uh, and Witherspoon, he uh, really outclassed him the first time they fought. So... It was obvious, Bone Crusher, you know, as hard hitting as he was and all that, he just was not in not in the same class as Holmes or or Tim Witherspoon. So, but Tim Witherspoon, of course, yeah, he I think and many others that he beat Holmes in that fight in 1983. I scored that fight actually, and uh, I scored it 116, 114 for for terrible team. Yeah, and then uh, after <laughs> after Witherspoon, he lost the title to another guy who Holmes did not fight, and that was Pinklon Thomas. Another very, very good fighter, really, in, in his prime, prime, had a great jab and a punch, you know, left hook, right, whatever. And, it, you know, he just could, he could punch, and, uh, so, uh, Holmes was actually at one of his fights, I think it was, <clears throat> I'm not sure whether it was the one where he beat. No, I think it was the one in which he beat Mike Weaver. Yeah, that's it. First defense. And then Holmes like said something like, "Yeah, Pinkwin Thomas is gonna be a great champion when I retire." You know. And uh, he never fought Thomas. He did lose his title afterwards. The IBF title to Michael uh, Spinks, but we don't know whether he would actually ever give Thomas a fight if he hadn't lost the title. So I I don't think so personally. You know, Holmes liked to talk uh, and think about himself as you know the second Ali, but in reality he just wasn't. You know. And uh, he kind of whined a bit too much about not getting the respect. But if you want the, the same respect that <laughs> Ali got, you know, you have to fight everyone, really everyone. Not just the second best guy, you know, 
or almost all the best guys, but he didn't fight even almost all the best guys, so you see how many he ducked actually, and then one more guy that he didn't fight is Tony Tubbs, a very good technician, he beat Greg Page and uh, Tim Bone Crusher Smith, and uh, yeah, he was just a really good fighter and uh, you know on C4 a few guys that were not not so good like Randall, Tex Cobb and Ronaldo Snipes and Leon Spinks they were all you know okay but never really really good fighters Scott Frank who was he like <laughs> and uh, yeah so uh, his career is definitely tainted because of, you know, he ducked so many guys and uh, so many world title holders, you know, that's really a serious thing, you know, when you are claiming to be the champion, like the champion, and you say all the others are just paper champions, but then you don't fight those paper, suppose fake paper champions. Why? What is that like? <laughs> I don't get it really. So, uh, uh, yeah. So you see, he hasn't actually fought many people. And, uh, I'm not saying, of course. I don't know why. I'm not saying he would lose to all of them, but. Mm, perhaps a few of them it would have beaten him, yeah, I, I'd say so. So that's, that's about it.